Hey, what's up guys? Today's history is Hillsborough Pharmacy right downtown on Main Street. And uh, we're gonna go in for a quick tour. So let me just get spun around here. One of my favorite places, not only in town, but in the world. Okay, camera, cooperate. And here we go. Okay, I might have to dodge the camera around. So Hillsborough Pharmacy, so this is the awning and uh, this whole setup's been here quite a while. Most of you have been here. If you haven't, um, you gotta come. I wanna let y'all know they're still open and the Hillsborough Pharmacy has been in Hillsborough since 1873. It was opened by Dr. Francis Alonzo Bailey and we've covered Bailey before. He's the subject of our desk. And once inside, you will see all of the wonder that there is in the Hillsborough Pharmacy. This would be their schedule normally. Um, I come here quite often for coffee with all my fantastic uh, uh, three coins in a fountain group. Sits here daily and takes up most of this area. Excuse me. Oh, no problem. I'm, li I'm live streaming. <laughs> it's okay. And uh, so the game has been going on for 37 years, more than that. Um, but the game is off right now. So, hey, Cindy. Um, anyway, for all of you guys who have not been here, come on in. Um, the, as you can see, no dine-in, but takeout's allowed. Um, I just got a great cup of coffee, but Kathy and the crew down here are making their famous biscuits and gravy, BLTs, amazing shakes with Umqua ice cream. There's your flavors there. Um, and just uh, come in and you need to get out for a walk. You can see it's real quiet in here. Um, so Dr. Bailey ran the pharmacy here. The fountain's been open for decades. Here's sort of the wall of fame back here. These are some of the greats who have spent time here, including uh, right there in the middle, Gordon Faber. Most of you guys might know Gordon Faber. And uh, normally they do burgers, breakfast, all kind of stuff here. But you can see it's a very classic American uh, pharmacy and diner. So I'm gonna sneak past this young lady and just go back and show you a couple of pictures. Way. Keep my distance here. Um, the one might have had um, not a so Doug Johnson has owned this for years, and here's here it is a uh, picture of Fern Phelps, who was here for years, and Dorothy Fortin. And uh, here's Doug when he was a kid. Uh, full service pharmacy here, right? And uh, here's some information here articles, January 23rd, 1997. And here's Kathy. She works here. She's next to me right now working. Uh, it's just a lot of the articles that are in here. And you can see the pharmacy here in this old picture. And this is just one of my favorite pieces of art in the whole world. I wish we could uh, copy this thing or make prints of it. I'm coming around you. I won't put you on camera. Hello. How you doing? Hi. And then in the back hall, you come down here and you're basically looking out the back towards the Wheel Arcade. And uh, right there is the Venetian Theater side of it. Still waiting for that to open. Let's do a little history walk here. On the back hall here, you can find some cool pictures. Main Street, 1951. Notice the two-way streets, right? And here you can see the Shake Shack. Delta Drug. J.C. Penney's right there. Um, let's see, Hillsborough Argus was down here. Cremians, or Cremines, I've been told it said. And there is the Hill Floors building on the corner. And the Chevy dealership was down there as well on the far corner. And there's the Venetian, of course. Uh, Paul Wishart purchasing the pharmacy from Harry Bates in 1950. Some of you guys probably remember those guys. There they are. Look at that. What a step back in time. If only we could go back, huh? The Bates Pharmacy. Original pharmacy located second in Maine. Uh, let's see, where was that? So, this is where Manias is right now. Bosco, Bosco clothes, ladies and shoes. That's got to be same family. 
Look at the uh, jalopies in here. This is the early, early 1900s. And we're in this back hallway here. It's kind of a shrine, really. Street scene, electric train, 1913, coming into downtown Hillsboro. Used to be an old wood hotel here. Eastman Kodak, 1913. Here we go, 1911. This is an iconic shot of downtown Hillsborough, if there ever was one. Most of these buildings are gone, and the town was rebuilt. Here's the old shoot bank. So I'm looking at the courthouse here. This was uh, basically a horse sale that was ongoing on the, uh, on the main street. They did this to bring your ponies down and your horses, and uh, the Tongues had a racetrack just west of town here. And uh, here is R.L. Kate Real Estate. That name has come up a lot, a secondhand store there. So this is the south side, this is the north side. So the pharmacy right now is located right about here. Street improvements, steam powered ditch digger. Look at that guy digging these ditches, holy smokes. And then here's Doc Bailey right here. So Francis Alonzo, we've covered him a couple of times. Um, he was, a very accomplished doctor. He was in the Civil War on the Confederate side and got off of a steamer on the Missouri River in, 19, in 1861 and headed out to the west. And he got here and settled in Scoggins Valley uh, and then taught school in Scoggins Valley in a log schoolhouse, one of the first schools, um, before he married one of his students, Mary Chambers, at 17 years old. The Chambers had their uh, farm uh, their donation land claim. Doc Bailey went on to get a couple of medical degrees. Um, the family moved to uh, Hillsborough in 1873. And uh, as some of you may know, we found his desk and we brought it back to City Hall. There's another old picture here. Um, that's a steam donkey, I think. Yeah, exactly what that is. So that's a logging rig with big guy wires on it and stuff for doing high lining, sky lining, so to speak. Doug and Bev Johnson, and there's Kathy, who still who is here. Kathy works here every day. And there's Doug and Bev, high school helpers over the years. Some of you guys might be in here. Bill High Mayfay royalty, of course. Somebody playing basketball down here. Can't, can't see all the names on here, but you'll be able to read these from home. There are some Mayfay people. And uh, let's go down the other side of the hall now. Here's a look at the fountain. The shake machine is still there, oh my God. The fountain had different stools back then, but a lot of similarities. Washington County Courthouse, 1940s. And uh, here's Hillsboro Pharmacy from, looks like the 70s, which is kind of the way a lot of people will see it um, for today. So, so to speak, that is the pharmacy. If you ever need any prescriptions during this time, make sure you come down. Like I said, they've still got food going on down here, um, which is pretty awesome. And you couldn't find friendlier staff, so. The food is takeout right now. And actually, you can find a lot of things here. These are cool. Look at the old uh, prescriptions. These are Dr. Bailey's signature. Dr. Bailey, once he opened the pharmacy, really got things going and became a very prominent doctor. He went on to become our mayor on four occasions and was put up for governor at one point, and he said he didn't want to run for governor. So uh, he wanted to serve the people of Hillsboro. And he was known for taking chickens and farm produce if you couldn't pay him. So how great is that, huh? And look at the collection of oldies but goldies here on the counter. Okay. So that's your history lesson for the day, everyone. Hillsboro Pharmacy. Make sure you stop in uh, if you can. And... Uh, I'll see y'all soon. You guys take care. Have a great day.